Hi, my name is Yuris. I am the application engineer at Sinus, the affordable platform for engineering simulation. We integrate open source tools into the single user-friendly platform. Now, I would like to show you how to perform the inductive heating analysis for a three-dimensional billet. Our problem consists of one aluminum billet and one copper inductor. To do this problem, we have to follow six steps. First, we will get geometry from GrabCAD. Then we will generate an export mesh to CNUS. Then we will define electromagnetic and thermal problems. Then we will run the simulation. And finally, we will post-process our results. So for the first step, let's open web browser and go to GrabCAD. Here we will search for inductor. And let's choose this the first geometry, which consists of billet and inductor. Let's download files. Open folder. And extract files. So you see that this folder contains with picture and geometry file. So the next step we will open clean sinus case and add preprocessor. We will select read CAD and create mesh button. Let's click on folder button. And now we will select geometry file that we downloaded. Now click on play button. And wait until Salome opens. When Salome opens, then you have to select geometry model, click here, and now if you click on this I button, you will see imported geometry. So the next step, we want to create a computational domain for air that will surround billet and inductor. For that, we have to create two points these points will be on the corners. So for the first point, we will set 250 millimeters in each dimension. Click Apply. And for the second point, it will be in opposite direction. So we will put minus signs for each dimension. Apply and close. So you see that we created two points. And now, if we will use this Create a Box tool, we will select so this is the first option here. So here, you can see that we can we can select two points, the first one and the second one, to create a box. So I will use this tool here, so I can rotate my geometry easier and manipulate. So you see that we still have two connections for our copper inductor. I click on the right button and select transparency. Here you can set some transparency level so that you can see through this box. We still have billet and inductor. So the next very important step is to create a partition. So for that, I will select Important Geometry here. I will hold Ctrl on my keyboard and click on Box, so that both Important Geometry and Box are selected. Next, I will click on Operations and Partition. I click Apply and Close. And you see that now, here, Partition, which was created, now is visible. That's good. Now, very important step is to create uh, geometry groups so that Sinus knows what are the names for bodies and surfaces, boundary conditions. So, I will click on Partition and we'll go to New Entity on the top, select Group and Create Group button. So first, Let's create the groups for solids, for bodies. I click here on this option for solids. 
I click with left mouse button on here on air domain and add it. Now I will specify the name for this group. I will call it air and click apply. So now if you will take a look on partition, now it contains one group, geometry group for air. That's good. So we have to also repeat this operation for other groups. I click on air and I want to hide it so that I can see billet and inductor. I click on billet with left mouse, bu mouse button and add it. I type name, billet and click apply. Again, we want to hide air. I will also hide billet. And now we have to select for inductor parts. There are three parts for inductor. I hold shift and click on each of these parts. Then I add them. For the name, I will type inductor and click apply. So you see here on the left in object browser that we have three geometry groups uh, for solids. And now we also want to create a geometry groups for boundary conditions. So I will switch to this shape type to face faces and I will select all six outer surfaces one two three and then I have to rotate this cube and still holding shift button click on three remaining surfaces and add them so you see that we have now six surfaces and I will call them far field and click apply. So now I want to make this this and this surface invisible so that I can take a look what is inside. Let's add boundary conditions for billet. I will click on surface of billet, hold shift, add another surface, rotate, hold shift and select the third surface for billet, click add, name it heat loss and click apply. Also we want to create boundary conditions to specify the names for boundaries for two inlet and outlet for copper inductor for connectors. So let's call this one. I click on, on this one connection. I add them. I add it and let's name it top. apply and for this lowest connection I add it we will call it button and uh, when we will mesh this geometry I also want to create a good mesh for copper inductor so that currents are resolved so for that to make uh, for meshing easier we will create additional group uh, for surfaces for inductor. So I hold shift, I click on three outer surfaces for inductor and add them. And let's call this group inductor BC. So later we will not add this group, we will not send this group to Sinus we will use it only for meshing purposes. So I click apply and close. So you see that we created three groups for solids, for bodies, and five groups for surfaces. So the next step will be creation of mesh for this problem. And it will be described in the next tutorial.